Controversy sizzled when Nestle voluntarily recalled 238 thousand hot pockets on Tuesday. The news followed an earlier recall of meat from Rancho Feeding. The US Department of Agriculture suspended the meat company because of quote unsanitary conditions. The meat from their factory could have been used in the hot pockets so they have been pulled off the shelves. But which hot pockets were affected? The Philly cheesesteak, the cheese hot pocket and its croissant Philly cheesesteak were all recalled. The good news is no one has reported any illnesses due to consumption and people can easily get their money back by returning the goods to where they purchased it. Rancho Feeding did recall a whopping 8.7 million pounds of meat and Nestle was not ready to roll the dice with the chance that some of the spoiled meat could be in their products. Nestle has done the right thing with the voluntary recall and addressing the issue by stating in a release, quote, our teams at Nestle have reviewed our vendor records and have determined that one Nestle brand has been impacted by the Rancho Meat recall. We have seen time and time again companies bounce back after recalls to regain their customers' trust, and Nestle will be no different. But one thing is certain, it will be a really long time before I eat a Hot Pocket again.